Hello, hello everybody, welcome back. Today I have a collective haul video for you from the same place. Today we're checking out Co-Edition. It's a really, really eclectic haul. I think this is gonna be a fun one. So I'm going to introduce you guys to Co-Edition. They did partner with me for this video, but they are not sponsoring it. There is a difference. They were kind enough to send over some product from a couple of their different vendors so we could kind of take a look, see what they got, try it out. So I want to talk to you guys about Co-Edition just for a second. Um, they are not, they are a brand that carries multiple companies. So kind of like an online department store for plus size. Um, so they have indie brands, they have popular brands that you're familiar with, they have accessories brands, all kinds of different brands, and I really like it because Co-Edition, they, they carry brands that you're familiar with, like City Chic, which you'll see a lot of in this video, but then they carry brands that like I wasn't really aware of, like Allegra James and Fab Furs, and they even carry brands that are like as indie as Shegal, which is really awesome as well. So um, I like them because it kind of exposes me and the buyers or the customers to new brands by checking out their site, um, and there's still that familiarity. So you're gonna go to Co-Edition, you're gonna get your City Chic dress that you know and love, but then maybe while you're there you'll pick up a jacket from a new brand that you've never heard of before, maybe you'll pick up a cool scarf or something. So um, I wanted to show you guys this company and and show you guys what they had because again different new um, not new they've been around for a while but new to us talking about it new to the channel <laughs> um, and just a cool way to like check out some new brands so with that being said I'm diving in the first item is from Shegal they are an indie brand and they sent over a beautiful cocoon cardigan the cardigan from Shegal is so cute I think it's because like the holidays are around the corner, Thanksgiving's around the corner. Um, I love that we're keeping it cute, by the way. Like, we've all, I feel like, discussed it, and I feel like we've all decided that shelter at home or not, nah, we're gonna look good. Um, and this is a really, really pretty cardigan to wear over your more casual outfits. Um, so it's a very thin, metallic knit cardigan. It's so pretty. The threading on it is so sparkly. I hope it's picking up in camera. Yeah, there you go. You guys can see it. It's so cute. I love these cocoon cardigans because they give you a lot of length and a lot of style, but they're not too heavy. Um, so really great, especially for people who live in the South like I do or in the Southern states like I do, um, where it doesn't really get all that cold. This will be really nice. It also dresses up like your basic cami and leggings vibe by putting on more of a statement cardigan. So this is really pr pretty. Um, it feels exceptionally well made. I don't know much about Shegal other than I know that they're an indie designer. They're a small brand. Um, it's something that I feel like you would wear now. You would wear it much later. Um, would be a great gift if you're looking for something for your like your sister, your mom, your auntie. This would be such a beautiful gift because it is lightweight. It can be used year round. Um, really gorgeous. So I'm super thrilled about that. I wanted to show you guys that because I thought, you know, this is kind of cool. This is kind of really cool. Love the shape. So A++ on that. That one. The next piece I have for you is from a brand called Fab Furs. They specialize in faux fur from what I understand, um, but like really beautiful, super high quality faux fur. Um, and they were kind enough to send over this jacket via Co-Edition. Um, this is just fun, you guys. Like, I, they asked me which one I wanted, and I was like, I want this one, because there's a lot going on. We got some leopard, we got some fox, I think. I don't really know my furs, but, um, this is, I feel so bougie. Like, so bougie. Love the length of this. The quality of this is outstanding. These are not cheap jackets. These are really well-priced for what they are. Um, they're definitely a little more pricey, but my god, I've never seen... I love me some faux fur, you guys, you know this. You've been around long enough, you know I love me some faux fur. I have a ton of jackets that are faux fur. I get them every year. This one is kind of one of those like heirloomy pieces where like I feel like I'm gonna have this for the rest of my life. Um, I even love it with the makeup I have on, but I feel like with a red lip, like we are totally doing like sexy Corella DeVille vibes. I don't know, it's really cute. Um, but again, I was really, really thrilled and impressed with the quality. Uh, this I didn't know what to expect and um, I was super pleasantly surprised so I was so excited to share that with you guys so if you guys are someone that if you are someone that is into faux fur it's a part of your aesthetic especially if you love vintage fashion Fab Furs on co site has such a great selection of different kinds there's sequin ones there's a moto jacket one which I really need to get it's like a deer print oh it's beautiful um but they also have like very traditional like mink looking ones with like layers and stuff and there's a really really great assortment on co -edition. so check them out but I think that if you are someone that believes this is a big part of your aesthetic or wants it to be a big part of your aesthetic um I would invest in one of these um it's hard for me to tell you guys to spend a lot of money on an item um but I will say if this is something that is definitely 
in your wheelhouse for your for your aesthetic, then it's going to be worth the investment because it's so ridiculously well made, so soft, so beautiful that you're going to go reach for it year after year, time after time, whether it's to wear it with jeans or whether it's to wear with, you know, like a pencil skirt, you're just going to reach for these. So super excited to be introduced to this brand and I cannot wait to buy another one. As you guys know, I love me a good moto jacket and I feel like I don't have a faux for a moto jacket and now I feel like my entire life has just been like wasted a little bit. So I'm gonna go do that as soon as this video is done. Um, so that is it for that. I'm gonna run into City Chic. I have a ton of accessories. We're gonna leave it till the end. Um, but I have some City Chic to show you guys. I love City Chic. If you guys have been around long enough, you know I have loved City Chic for six, seven years now. Um, I have been buying them for six or seven years now and will continue to buy them for as long as they exist because their quality is fantastic. So. Um, via Co Edition, I picked out this beautiful plummy sweater. I don't know if it showed up correctly color wise in the try on portion. I hope it shows up. I'm trying to look in the viewfinder to see. I don't know. Um, I hope this color is showing up. Yeah, it's a beautiful plummy thick knit sweater. Um, it has kind of a funnel neck to it, but it's like a wide funnel neck. It's not quite an off the shoulder but it's not quite a turtleneck, so I kind of leave it off to the side. Um, the, again, this is another piece that's like really, really great quality. The, the knitting is very thick, very strong, just feels really nice. What's cool about this one is it has a baseball hem on it, so if you are someone that just believes to your core that leggings are pants and you have to wear things that are like longer because you want to cover your tush, um, this is going to be a good option for you because it does have that longer hemline, um, so it does come down a little bit longer in the back and the front, and then comes up higher on the side, which I always think is just really sexy because it still kind of manages to define the waist while giving you coverage in places that you need and then this color is just so rich and beautiful and vibrant for the fall season and I mean like I'm just like look at look, look at it together like oh god this is it's just a vibe it's so good it's anyway anyway moving on <laughs> it's good the next item I have from City Chic is a velvet cami um slowly starting to get ready for the holidays, slowly starting to do the holiday content, y'all. Um, this is really cute. This is a cami that is a peplum cami, so it has a nice defined waist. Uh, the rich richness of the velvet is just to die for. I love it. Um, and it has this little flouncy bit in the front, so it kind of adds a little bit of an asymmetrical vibe to it, which I really like as well. A nice plunge, we have adjustable straps, and a good stretch to it. I wear a size, this is a 16, I wear a size 16, and this is the color Ruby. I think they have it also in green and black or green and blue, like that. Um, don't quote me, but go on their site and check it out because there's a lot of really cute stuff. Um, just to be careful with some jeans, and if you saw my other video, I've been doing a couple of videos lately where I've had leather leggings in them, or fake leather, full leather leggings. This with a full leather legging and like a cardigan would be really, really cute, or a moto jacket, of course, always a good idea. Um, this is a really nice little versatile cami, so I'm really thrilled with that one. Moving into dresses, this, if you guys, I keep saying if you guys have been around for a while, but there are just certain things that like are staples to me and certain things that are just timeless to me and I will always go back to these aesthetics. This one in particular really fits into an aesthetic that I just truly adore and it's a beautiful little lace dress. This is so pretty. Now the ones that usually show are strapless or like have um, spaghetti straps to them. Um, this one actually has a full sleeve. So for my babes that don't like showing their arms but love the look of a lace dress, this is gonna be perfect for you. This pink is absolutely stunning. We have a gorgeous flutter sleeve. Loving the pom-pom detailing on the edge. Are we seeing it? We're seeing it. I'm gonna put it up against my hair. Um, so pretty. And it has a wrap style. Um, it also, but the skirt's really cool because it's a full skirt, so it's it looks like a wrap dress, but it's not a true wrap in the sense that you're, you know, secure and all of that. Um, but it's got a beautiful ruffle down the front, and normally that's not a vibe for me. I usually get a little nervous with voluminous things on the bottom half of my body, but there's something about the way this is constructed because it's so slim, and maybe it's because it's so feminine, it balances really well with the shoulders. Actually, I think that's probably what it is, is the fact that we have a ruffle on the bottom, but we have more of a flutter sleeve, so it balances the silhouette out while focusing on the midsection to kind of give me a snatch waist with the um, wrap detail and then also the belt tie that comes with it. Anyway, it's just really, really well constructed, really well thought of um, from a design perspective because this will balance out so many frames. If you are an hourglass, this is going to be great. If you are built like me and you're pear shaped, this is also going to be great. Just watch out on the bottom half. Um, it is a fit and flare, but it's a non stretch fit and flare. So if you have to size up, size up. I size up to an 18, uh, and if it's perfectly, I'm really happy with it. This haul is all over the place, and it continues to be all over the place with this bam green sequin dress, y'all. Okay. If you are not going to dress up 
for Christmas or for Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever you celebrate or Thanksgiving, give your girl a New Year's Eve look, please. Like, surf for New Year's Eve. Just do it. Even if it's at you at home watching, like, is it Ryan Seacrest who does the thing on TV? I don't know. Um, do, just give, give yourself a look. Give me a look. Give us a look. Let's do this together. Maybe let's do, like, a green mini dress. I don't know. With a long sleeve. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, this is a little bit shorter than I would normally go for, but I think with some opaque black tights, a nice little booty, we would be good to go. This it kind of breaks my heart a little bit because we haven't gone out like as a society in so long that I'm like remember when we used to go out and you could wear things like this and it didn't have to be a special occasion you could just go out and go dancing or go to the drag show and like cheer on your sisters and just like wear something like this like like it's not a big deal <laughs> I'm so sad I want I want life back I know everybody wants life back but I want life back. Um, anyway, this is really cute. I got this in a size 18. I'm actually really shocked at how well it fits. I was worried that it was going to be too small in the tush area because it is a bit like a boxy kind of style, but there's enough give in this. There's enough space in this that it fits really nicely, but it doesn't hug my stomach. So I'm really thrilled with it. I'm not wearing any shaper with it. Um, I feel like with a good pair of opaque tights that had a little bit of control in the midsection, this would look outstanding, like outstanding, outstanding. It would also keep me warmer, which would be nice as well. Um, I'm thrilled with this. I love this. This is just great. I know it's basic and I know it's simple, but sometimes, you know, basic and simple is good when we talk about getting the right fabric down. This in a po black ponte would have been like a fine little mini dress. This in a like emerald green sequin, you know, she she's the vibe and she makes my life happy. So thrilled with this, I will wear it. I don't care if I'm not going anywhere. The baby will learn very quickly that mama is here for the sparkle. <laughs> Let's take a quick break from dresses for a second. Talk about a jacket that does not fit me, that I am heartbroken about, that I am actually going to be ordering a 20 in. I got it in a size 18 and it's a beaut. Oh my God, it was, it's the tone for me, you guys. The tone, the tone. Uh, I love this tone. I love the, oh my God, everything about it. Um, unfortunately, on account of all of my BLT, this does not zip up on me, and I really wanted to because I want to wear it up north. Um, if you are a true size, like 18, this is going to be beautiful on you, like immaculate on you. Um, unfortunately, not for me. So it fits really well on the top. Um, I would dare say it runs like a hair small, like a hair small. So if I were, I feel like I was wearing, what was I wearing with it? A crop top, I think. If I were wearing like a chunkier sweater, like that purple one, I feel like it would be a little tighter in the arms. So I would say size up anyway, if you're like on the cusp of an 18 um, or whatever your size is, I would maybe go just up one, just so you have a little bit of moving room space in this jacket to wear something thicker underneath. Um, it has a belt, which is amazing for a puffer jacket. Can I get an amen for a puffer jacket with a belt, girl? Makes it, oh my God, I just love this thing. I love it so, oh my God, I just. <sighs> I like look in the viewfinder and I'm like, why don't you fit me? Why don't you like me? Why don't you fit me? I just, oh my God, you guys, look. No, oh, she cute. She goes in my dress too. Look at, look, look at the vibes we have. I'm probably gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna, I gotta order a replacement ASAP. I love this thing so much. I have two dresses left, both are black, and then we're gonna get on to the accessories. The first one is such a phenomenal little office life dress, um, a good year round dress as well. It does require some ironing. Um, this, like when I put it on, I had, I had put it on before and then I did not fold it properly and then I just kind of left it and then it got wrinkled. Um, anyway, this is an 18 and it is a true wrap dress fits gorgeously. It's a very light linen fabric. So I would say if you're wearing this in the winter, obviously pair it with a good sweater and wear some like thick tights with it and you'll be fine. Love the high low hem on it. Love the ruffle. This is so beautiful, chic, timeless. I feel like I could pair it with sneakers and it would be really cute. I could also pair it with like a nice like fun heel and then maybe like a nice Panama hat and wear it on vacation. If we ever go on vacation again. Um, I just really, it's a really good staple. It's a really, really good staple. Uh, and the next dress I have to show you is also a really good staple. And that's one of the things I like so much about City Chic. Um, and especially I love that I can go to Co-Edition and like 
put together a look because they have such great basics. They have such great staples um, at City Chic that you can basically go there, find your basic, your staple that you're gonna wear all the time, and then surf around the site and like put on your accessories or top whatever and make it look kind of really fun and cute. So this next one, I just have a million of these. I will wear them till eternity. Um, it's just a nice little skater dress, a little fit and flare. I got in a size 18. Nice stretch, comfortable, great thick fabric. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Really, really, really happy with it. Um, there's not much to say about it other than it's just a good go-to staple. Like I mentioned with the other one, this with sneakers would be great. This with, you know, flats and a cardigan would be great. Moto jacket and heels would be great. The faux fur jacket with a nice pair of, like, schmexy red, like, thigh-high boots. Like, it's it's a look. Um, there's just so much you can do with a piece like this. So if you don't have one in your wardrobe, I would highly suggest getting one. And I would highly suggest getting one from City Chic at Co Edition because you're going to get a really great quality piece. Um, it's going to last you a really long time. I have had City Chic pieces now for years. I'm talking I have dresses that are a minimum six years old that look as good now as the day I bought them. So I'm really, really thrilled with this one. Okay, fashion clothing part is over. Let's move on to accessories. It is cold weather time. I got some cold weather accessories to wear with all of my sleeveless dresses. Let's just do it. I have one pair of shoes to show you and the brand is Allegra James. Um, I will never get over the sock boot thing from a comfort standpoint, from an aesthetic standpoint, from a, I can get this over my cab standpoint. <laughs> um, and these are beautiful. So they are flesh toned for me. They are definitely a tan color. Um, they are an open toe. Gotta love it. Three inch heel, not terrible, not 20 inches, not flat. So definitely gives you a little bit of lift. Soft, comfortable, just delicious. This boot sock fabric-y thing is really stretchy, so it goes on really easily. I love these. I love them, I love them, I think they're classic. I know that they were trendy a while back, but I feel like now they're just definitely more of a staple. The rest of the cold weather accessories I have to show you, even though those boots are kind of like mild weather accessories, um, are from the brand Shiralia. I hope I'm saying that right, Shiralia Chicago. Um, through Co-Edition, I am showing you this scarf first because I just opened it. And I started unfolding it and unfolding it and unfolding it. It just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And like, I am obsessed. I'm so thrilled. I love me a blanket scarf. And like, I am living in this for the rest of the season. I'm gonna catch me wearing this in my house, watching Netflix, catch me wearing it outside to Starbucks to get my venti chai with pumpkin foam. Like I'm, oh, this, and, and it feels so soft and beautiful. So this is the Dahlia scarf. It has, little tassel -y bits on it, beautiful, so comfortable, loving this tone, loving this light gray tone, um, really, really obsessed with it. I got a little bag, so here's, what's, here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the bag. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the accessories here, and then if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, either one, um, I'm sometimes glam on both, I will show you guys different outfits that I'm styling these thingies in. Um, so if you wanna see like an outfit with this scarf, maybe paired with this adorable little like chopey, pearly, velvet, clutchy business, head over there and you'll see like a full outfit. Um, mainly because I thought it would be fun to just show you guys there, show you guys some outfit inspiration, cause accessories are so much fun to play with. I'm such a big accessories girl. Um, and this is just to die for. So um, head over there and follow me. But the next thing from Shirley is this adorable little bag. It has a gold chain on the inside as well, so you can put it over your shoulder or crossbody. Um, and yeah, I really love this color. It's kind of the same color as the jacket from City Chic. So like I'm a one trick pony with the color combos, but here we are. I just love a classic color combo. So beautiful bag, beautiful scarf. I have a couple of other things to show you from them as well, including a cool bag that I feel is like a resurgence of like 2004. These bags were so popular in like 2003, 2004, 2005, and I love that they're coming back. This is an absolutely gorgeous hobo bag from Shirley um, at Co Edition. There's like a suede on one side and then a leather on the other, a pebbled leather on the other. It has a button, like a magnetic button to close and just sits on your shoulder and it's deep enough that you can just kind of like let it sit there. I just love it all together. Like I just, ooh, it's just so pretty. But if you're someone that's kind of over the little boxy bags and like over all those kind of trends and you miss like those big boho bags that kind of put forth this like effortless, chic, like I shop at Whole Foods kind 
kind of vibe. Here's like, here's the one. This is so great. Again, beautiful, beautiful quality. Um, I'd never heard of this brand before till I saw them on Co Edition. So I was really thrilled to kind of run across a new accessory brand to be excited about. I really can't say enough good things about the quality of this bag. Honestly, it's absolutely beautiful. Feels like a million bucks. Um, and I feel like I would wear this to, you know, Trader Joe's to buy like my organic avocado or whatever. Really, really beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Okay, a couple things left. I saw this and I thought, you know what? Live a little girl, try it. I got me a Sherpa. Oh my God, that's, okay. I never put it on before now. Um, That's really cute. It's a Sherpa, like, what are these called? I mean, it's a hat, but like it's a Sherpa Baker hat or newsboy hat or whatever. Um, Why is this the cutest thing in the world? I'm so feeling it. I love this. Sherpa is in, it's always in every, you know, fall, winter, but I've never seen a Sherpa hat like in the style before and I love the tone. I'll keep looking in the viewfinder because I'm like, looks really nice with my hair, looks really nice with my eyes. Um, I feel like this is so pretty. It is so pretty, you guys. It's nice to try something different. So I'm really, actually, I'm really glad I picked it up now because this is quite cool. This is quite a cool hat. Um, again, Shirley, yeah, it's called the James hat. Um, everything's linked down below, as you already know. I love these style hats this time of year, but um, the ones I have are normally, I think they're all black. So I love the idea of having like a light colored one in Sherpa. I just think it's kind of a cool juxtaposition. So um, yeah, I will definitely be wearing the actual heck out of this. This is very fun. And now I have hat head. But I have two little things left to show you guys. Two more cold weather accessories. Another hat, this is the Parish hat. Um, being a good Canadian girl, I love me a good toque with pom-pom. So, um, <laughs> I love this. Why does this match my, you know, I don't know what, I think me and my home are becoming one where it's just like everything is pink and green and blush and cream. Um, and, the, and this hat is no different. So this is really nice. The knit feels really, really beautiful and soft. Um, and this is the Manuela scarf in rose. And let's see how big this, oh my God, this is another big one. <gasps> Yes, I love it. How pretty. Uh, I love it. It's such a cute little vibe. Okay, guys. So this one, the other gray one was like a like a cable knit, like a knit one. This is more, this feels more like cashmere. I don't know what this is made of. It doesn't say. Um, it's lovely. Whatever it is, it's really soft um, and cozy. And if you're someone that doesn't like a big chunky scarf, but likes the look of like a smoother scarf, this is gonna be really pretty. So I'm gonna leave these on as we say goodbye. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you saw something that you liked. I hope that Co Edition is a place you guys are gonna check out because of the really just great array of brands that they carry. Again, brands that like I've never heard of that are just so much fun to throw on and add on and just check out and like maybe find something new that you love. So check them out. Like I said, everything is linked down below. I would highly recommend the Sherpa hat. It is adorable. Size up in that city chic jacket, the puffer jacket, because it is also adorable. And I'm just gonna hang out in this 90 degrees today here in Phoenix, but we're, we're living, we're breathing. Anyway, that is it for me, you guys. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me. You could be watching anyone you chose to spend a part of your day with me, and I can't tell you how much that means to me. The holidays are right around the corner. I cannot wait to go full-fledged into sequence season. And that is it. Have a wonderful day, you guys. We'll see you in my next video.